tuned for a very unique way of how to use beer in your cooking. Menu for tonight, we are doing whipped parsley potatoes with fish in beer. The ingredients potatoes. You'll need some potatoes, some parsley, some margarine, and some milk, salt, and black pepper. For the fish, you will need vegetable oil, onions, tomatoes, margarine, fish fillet, tomato puree, vegetable stock, lemon juice and lemon rind, garlic, and of course, you're going to need some of that delicious. Ha! The secret ingredient. This is beer. Take some beer, put it in, and you put in as much as you want a gravy, as, you know, as, as wet as you want it. Put that in. Now turn your fire up high again. You want this stock cube over here to disintegrate. That's a stock cube there. At this point, at this point you can do some salt and pepper. Little bit, little salt, little pepper, black pepper. Not too much, because we're going to use, we're going to use some in the potatoes. And then that tomato puree, you see, you want it mixed in well. Let it mix in well. Uh, I think a bit more. Let's put the, let's put the lot in it. Ah, oh. woohoo! Good, good. Right, mix it in so that your garlic is in there, not sitting in a clump. Put the fire back up high. Tomato puree is blended in there, not sitting in a clump. So is your vegetable stock cube. Yes. Does it taste good? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, it's coming along. Coming along. Right. Now, remember the rind that we put in there? That lemon rind. Ooh. It's going to be really nice. Now, finally now, so that you let it catch a boil, finally, take your beautiful pieces of fish. Your beautiful pieces of fish. And just lay them on the top, like this. And the fish is going to cook right there. You don't have to stir it and do many things. Remember this thing on the bottom has cooked. The layer on the bottom is already cooked. So put your fish in. Let's squeeze it right in there. Right in there. Let's see if we can't make a little space in there. Squeeze it in, push it down a bit. Once this catches a boil, you won't even, you don't need to stir or do many things. Just leave it like, like this. Let it cook because you see fish cooks and then it disintegrates really fast. I mean, if you, you know, if you're doing a lot of vigorous stirring, it's going to break apart. So just let that catch a boil. Keep a lid on it. I'll keep the lid just a little bit ajar. Take your potato that had boiled, put into the potato and it's still hot. You can see the steam coming up. Do it when it's hot and then you're not going to have a problem mashing it. Little salt, little pepper, black pepper. You don't have to put those in if you don't want them. A little milk. Go slow with the milk. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use one of these. Little bit of butter or margarine. Oh, there we go. A little bit. You can adjust with the taste as, as you need to, as you go. And then something nice that I like to do is this. This is parsley that I chopped up. Uh, so put in the parsley. Put in the parsley. Parsley just adds color to it. Little bit of distant flavor. How's that fish coming? Do you see that it's cooking? See it cooking? The fish actually becomes white. Then you know it's cooking. I'm going to turn the fire down just a little, just a little, so this, this, the gravy is not spilling over and onto, onto the, you know, the cooker there, and then you have a big job trying to clean it up later on. So here now, you come in and you mash it down. You can do it that way. 
or you can go this way. This is already soft enough. With that milk in there, it's got the milk in there. Okay. And then you go look for some, something nice container that you're gonna use to serve. Nice. Look at the parsley and the way it's speckled into the mash. Isn't that just for a little color? You can use dania if you like dania. Take your mashed potato, put it on, onto your plate. And then I'm gonna just let this sit here for a few more minutes. You see, you don't want to stir it at this point. You don't want to start, you know, mixing and trying to turn it around and everything because you're going to break up the pieces. But once it becomes like this, your fish is done. That is done. And you can cover it and even turn the fire off. Turn the fire off so that it sits in the heat and it continues cooking a little bit in its own heat. You have got the thing. It is ready. Look at that. I'm not even going to add anything on there because I'm using a pretty plate with color on it. Mashed potatoes have the green from the parsley and your fish over here has got those onions, tomatoes. So you've got a good color, good color right there. You don't need any more. This is really nice. Please try it. Don't be afraid of using the alcohol in your cooking. Separate. You're not going to be, you know, it's not, it's not like you're sitting there having a whole bottle of, of beer. My name is Susan Kamau, and I'd like to invite you to join us next week on Let's Cook. Same place and the same time. Good night.